Hi, this is Jim Starkweather, the publisher of Kitmaker Network, and welcome to another episode of Turning the Page. Today we have for you uh, British battle tanks, David Plusher and Stephen J. Zaloga. This is American-made World War II tanks by the Osprey, by Osprey the publisher. And uh, this is part of a series they've been doing um, several of these. I can't remember the previous ones. This is obviously slightly different, uh, that being the American-made ones, but uh, but they've had some of the other others as well. And this is a hardcover book. Um, the um, pricing on this is going to be an inside cover, I guess. But this one is... Um, 256 pages and in the UK will uh, will list price is 25 pounds the US is 30 and, the, and in Canada is 40 of course you can get those lower online on Amazon and so forth uh, let's take a look at the cable of contents real quick this has got uh, an introduction section the M3 light tank the Stuart the M3 medium tank the Grant and Lee the M4 medium tank the Sherman the Firefly the 17 pounder Sherman the Sherman Duplex Drive, the Sherman Crab Flail Tank, other American-built tanks, Staghound Armored Car, uh, Select Bibliography, and Index. So let's take a quick look at the various sections. We've got the introduction section, pretty much all text with some period of photos, the M3 Light Stewart, and they do have some uh, cutaway uh, photos here with um, or illustrations with various uh, identification points on the illustration. Again, more period photos. The uh, is that the honey? Um, no, actually, that's the uh, Stuart Eighth King's Royal Irish Hussars. Looked like a honey. That's a M M M five Stuart, right? M five A one. Yeah. Uh, all right. So we got uh, again. The, this is the M three Lee, and again another another nice cutaway uh, illustration for that one. I assume they'll kind of replicate that through all of these. There's the one for the Sherman. And uh, you can see, you know, obviously with uh, Zaloga and Plusher you're going to get quite a bit of good background information. Uh, that's a given. But it uh, looks like they've also provided a lot of nice uh, illustrations and uh, decent photos to go along with it. Um, so that's basically what you can expect. A lot of different um, of the weird, kind of weird oddball variant things going on here. Um, but all from the British angle, obviously not just the, you know, what Americans had in the war. It's just it's the, the stuff we, the stuff we made for Britain, and then they brought in and converted and renamed and did all those things that they do to Staghound. Nice illustration of that as well. So if you're looking for a book on American-made World War II tanks but British, there you go. It's it's out. It's been out for a little while. My apologies. I should have had this out sooner, but. Um, Actually, let's see when the publication date was, because some of these I just got. Some of these I have had a while. Let's see. This one uh, came out um, 2018. It's not giving me a month, though. So sometime in 2018, it's looking like. So our thanks to Osprey for sending us this uh, preview copy. And uh, thanks for watching, uh, turning the page, and we will see you next time.